Here we are, we're looking at uh, this 4K video camera by Linz. It's L-I-N-N-S-E. These are sold on Amazon. I think this was about $120. So it's a 4K video camera. Um, comes with an, uh, an actual directional mic. Um, it does come with a lens hood. Also includes two batteries. One is right here in the camera when it ships. It is turned around though, so you gotta pop it out and turn it around and all that fun stuff. And then there's an extra one included. Um, there is a remote control included, so you can have this mounted on a tripod and start and stop recording very, very easily. Uh, this little carrying case. And then uh we do have a they ship you an hdmi cable so there's actually that's a standard hdmi and that's a i don't know what that's called i think it's a mini hdmi anyway um that will allow you to connect the camera directly to an outport source source like a tv or something like that um and there is a charger and usb cable included uh, i don't have that in front of me but uh it's a mini USB, if I'm not mistaken. One of those little guys. So I'm just gonna go through the the um, the camera itself really quick, and then I want to actually do a video sample with the camera recording, so that we can get an idea of both picture quality and audio quality with and without the microphone. Uh, so just to run through this really quick. So on this camera, uh, like I said, the battery compartment's down here, just in case anybody's confused on that. That's also the SD card slot. I need to grab an SD card for this thing as well. Um, to remove the battery, there's this little tab right here on the side. You gotta pull that, it'll pop out. Operation is actually pretty straightforward and pretty simple. So, once you open this up, obviously we got an inserted memory card, so we're not gonna get uh, we're not gonna get any recording right now. But there are um, the mode button will switch between photo mode, video, and playback, and the menu will switch through all the different menu options. So these two buttons right here are the up and down to scroll up and down through the menu. And it took me a second to figure out how to go left and right. But if you look right up here, the zoom button or zoom switch rather, that'll get you your left and right to scroll through all the different options. Uh, I didn't realize it at first, but instead of doing any of that stuff, you could just use the touch screen option. So that, that actually makes things a lot more simple. Um, for right now, I do have the lens cap on. I will take that off. Um, there is really, I mean, if, if you've used any kind of a video camera ever, it's very, very straightforward. You have your zoom functions, start and stop recording. And there's actually also a button there to take a photo uh, if you happen to just need to snap a quick picture. To... Um, to attach the microphone. So very simple. It's gonna attach to the hot shoe, but it's not actually gonna utilize the hot shoe. So it could be attached separately to a um, to a tripod if you wanted to, for example, add a couple of these and you know use a audio mixer to get all that set up and go all crazy and fancy, you could. But pretty simple, loosen the little screw slide that onto, let's see if I can do this while, while I'm holding, oh, didn't get that loose enough, there you go. So while, after you attach it, obviously you'll screw it down to keep it from shifting around. This wire plugs right into the back here. So this is a little minor annoyance that when this is plugged in, you can no longer close this flap. A little annoying, not the end of the world. But um, one thing to remember with this microphone, it does not take its power from the camera. There is 
a battery in the microphone there. When you get it, that battery will be wrapped in plastic. You won't be able to use it until you open that cover, remove the uh, plastic around the, the battery and pop it back in. Um, while you're using this microphone, you're gonna normal operation, you're gonna be at the zero decibel. The plus 20, that's highly sensitive. It's very amplified. Um, that's if you're trying to pick up something from further away and you know being a creepy stalker or something like that. Anyhow, so those are the basics of the camera. Um, I'm going to choose to not use a lens hood because I'm sitting inside and I don't have to worry about any kind of lens flare. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera, actually mount it to my little tripod here, and we'll get an idea of what uh, audio and video quality is like. So here we are. Um, this is actually being recorded by the camera in question. So right now I don't have the microphone plugged in or on. This is audio that's being picked up by the, the microphone that's on the camera itself. Uh, I know there's also some using the little remote that came with it. I know there is, so you gotta, you actually got most of the functions on here. I'm just not sure if I have the light function on here because there is a light mounted to the microphone, uh, the camera. I don't know how well the light works or how bright it is, but um, for general everyday use, as you can see here, you're probably not gonna need the light. So again, this is the audio, uh, the video quality. This is the audio quality with the microphone, the included microphone not plugged in. Um, so right now this is just the bare camera. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this right here and then we're gonna listen to it. We're gonna keep recording with the included microphone set up. So we're back. And right now I have the microphone set up. Um, so what you're listening to is through this actual, through the microphone that came uh, with the camera. One thing to note, this room that I'm sitting in is terrible for any kind of audio recording. Uh, there's a lot of empty space in here, barely any furniture. There's a couple of 3D printers, telescope behind me, and a desk. So uh, this, the, I mean, there's so much echo in here that just speaking um, in, a, in a normal voice, you can completely hear the echo. It's got a tall ceiling and all that. So this is the worst room acoustically I have ever been in. <laughs> uh, you may or may not hear it in this my, in this uh, video clip, I don't know if you will. Hopefully you don't because that's going to kind of give us an idea of how well this microphone works or not. Um, but as far as the video quality, you're getting it right here. You see exactly what the video quality is. Uh, my overall impressions on this camera, it's actually, I can't, I, I can't find too much of a reason to complain. The, the one or two little issues that I do have with it um, one, as you saw earlier, the little flap in the back that covers the connectors does have to stay open if you're using the microphone and have it plugged in back there. The other little annoyance, I would say, is that the included carrying case, or little pouch rather, fits just the camera. It will not fit the extra battery, it will not fit the charger, it will not fit the microphone or the hood. So if you do want to carry it around, you might want to you know, jump on eBay and find a $15, $20 camera case where you can pack all this stuff in there. It's, but it's still not, I mean, it's not big by any means. Um, I would say that it, it would all fit in a fanny pack. It, nobody carries a fanny pack anymore though. So um, it is something that you might have to look into is, you know, factor in another 10, 15 bucks for some kind of a little pouch or case. Or if you have a backpack, you throw it in there, it's plenty of room. I mean, the camera itself, without the microphone or hood attached, is small enough to where you can literally drop it in the pocket of your car door. Um, it's very, very compact, actually. Um, my main reason for buying it, I just wanted to buy it to record videos like this, reviews, uh, little how-to videos. That kind of stuff, it's great for because I'm not going to be taking it out on the road. It's going to be sitting here in my little workspace slash office. And I'm not going to be too worried about how compact or, or uh, mobile it is. So 
those are my two little issues with it. Other than that, video quality is awesome. Uh, battery life is going to be plenty for my purposes. And if it's not for yours, you can actually leave the camera plugged in and use it while it's charging the battery. So you can be tethered. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to unplug it before you use it. Uh, the at the price point, you're not going to get anything better than this. Uh, you do have all the little features that make it, you know, very uh, YouTube video friendly. Uh, you can turn this little LCD screen all the way around and see what you're recording, and you do have a much better, uh, much better picture quality than. Than most things. So, for comparison, uh, the first half of this clip was actually recorded with an iPhone 11 Pro, a cell phone camera. I know, uh, but the second half of this clip, obviously, I'm recording with this camera. So we'll get a comparison. You know, once once we put these side by side, and you you see the entire video. Once I get it all sliced together, you'll see the the uh, quality difference, and also hear the audio difference. So, um, again, it's excellent quality, especially at this price point. I cannot complain at all. I mean, I'm very happy with this purchase. If you're looking for one, the, uh, the brand name again is Lince. It's L-I-N-N-S-E. And this is the 4K version on Amazon. Great buy. Go out there, buy it, create, have fun, put your stuff up on YouTube, and let me know how you enjoy it. Uh, until the next review, hope you enjoyed this one. Please like and subscribe if you did. Thank you.